What is going on you guys? How are you all doing today? I hope you guys are doing fantastic overall. So lately, I've been getting asked a bunch in the comment section, on Instagram DMs, on my Facebook page, everything. Basically, a lot of you guys have been running into the issue with lint mode on your BMW, whether it's a 335i, E90, E92, F30, whatever it may be, N54, N55, doesn't matter. Lint mode has been an issue, and a lot of you guys have been asking me to basically help out with diagnosing what the issue could possibly be. Now, getting straight into it, lint mode can generally be caused by a number of reasons. I mean, there's tons of reasons that can throw your car into lint mode. Today, I'm going to be covering, honestly, the most common cause of your BMW, especially if it's a turbocharged BMW, going into lint mode. And I'd say this is probably for like a good 70% of the cases, this is the issue. So let's go under the hood of my car and I'm gonna to talk to you guys exactly about what this issue is specifically. All right, you guys, so check this out. So lately, because my car is practically straight piped, I try to leave the garage door closed when I start the car up in the morning and then I open it from inside my car. But apparently, look what happened. I guess when I started up my car, the uh, deposits kind of that are in the exhaust just shot out and basically stained my garage. So I gotta clean that up. Well. So as you guys can see, in good usual fashion, we've got the N54 twin turbo motor. Coming over to the right side of the engine, as you guys can see, I have the dual cone intakes, and right under that is the charge pipe. Let me get some more light on that. As you can see, this piece, it's kind of hard to see, but it's basically a pipe, connects to the throttle body, the, the uh, intakes are actually covering it right now. But basically the charge pipe, if you have an N54 or an N55, you'll see it, it's right there. Kind of, let me get the camera under there a little more. So you have the turbochargers to the intercooler to the charge pipe, which connects right here. And then the charge pipe connects all the way to the throttle body right over there. I apologize, my engine bay is a little bit dirty. But essentially, the charge pipe has the responsibility of handling all the incoming boost pressures from the turbo and the intercooler and uh, the compressed air that's going to be sent straight into the engine. And naturally, of course, especially when you're tuned and even when you're on the stock car, this charge pipe is basically exposed to a lot of stress from the incoming air. And in good old BMW fashion, it wouldn't be a BMW if the charge pipe wasn't made out of plastic. So. Basically, the charge pipe is one of the most common failure points on an N54, and definitely it's very prone to cracking. I'm actually still running the start, the stock charge pipe on 17 pounds of boost. I'm pretty much playing Russian roulette at this point with it. I'm definitely going to be upgrading it in the very near future though, so stay tuned for that, you guys. But yes, the diverter valves, which are right here as well, which recirculate any excess boost, uh, those are made of plastic as well, and just kind of all this piping is plastic. So it's very common for the charge pipe to crack, for the diverter valves to crack. Um, it's very easy for the actual charge pipe to basically uh, pop off from where it connects to the intercooler. It's also possible for the diverter valves to pop out of the charge pipe. Um, it's just very common, especially when you're running a tuned car. And the moment that this this kind of thing happens, your car instantly will go into limp mode. The ECU will detect, you know, a boost leak somewhere, and from there, your car shuts off and he shuts off the turbos, basically. So what do you do to fix this? What's the next course of action? Well, most likely, you just want to pop open your hood, check if your car is in limp mode, go ahead and just check the charge pipe, check the intercooler piping, check your diverter valves, make sure that nothing is loose, that nothing's popped off, that nothing is cracked, because if that's the case, that's your source of the limp mode. And generally, like a good 60 to 70% of the time, that seems to be the issue, at least from my own experience with people asking me, you know, what's going on with your car, or what's going on with my car, you know, it's in limp mode, and I just say, you know, check the intercooler connections, check the charge pipe, your diverter valves, all that kind of stuff. Basically, if the ECU detects a boost leak from that, that's your issue. Now, if that's the case, try to just pop it back on. You know, it should be pretty easy. If the clamp got loose or something, just reinsert the clamp on. Or in a more worst case scenario, if your charge pipe cracked or exploded or whatever the hell happened to it, basically you're going to have to buy an upgraded charge pipe 
and generally there's a lot of aftermarket manufacturers that make really high quality charge pipes. Me in particular, I would go with the ARM Motorsports charge pipe because it's the most affordable and from my experience they have great quality, great quality products, excuse me and their charge pipes are made of aluminum. You can also upgrade your stock diverter valve springs. Um, you can also go with the blow off valve route. It's kind of your choice and what you wanna do it with as far as power gains goes. But those are basically your main options. And like I said, guys, like this isn't the only source of limp mode. There's a ton of other things that can cause limp mode on your car. But most commonly, it's not a big deal. It's the charge pipe. It's something that has to do with that boost circulation system um, in your engine bay, basically. So I actually plan on upgrading my charge pipe. Thankfully on the N54, the charge pipe is pretty strong from the factory. Although, I mean, with any car, it could be different. Mine has held up. I'm on, you know, averaging like 16, 17 pounds of boost on my current custom tune through Derek at more performance. And the charge pipe has held up pretty good. I have not had a single issue with it actually. So for that, I'm very thankful, honestly. But if you do have an N55 car, it seems as though N55 charge pipes basically blow up like three to four times as common than an N54 charge pipe does. And I think that's because they do the N55 charge pipe doesn't have any diverter valves or any sort of like blow off system. Um, there isn't anything and that's due to the valve tronic that the N55 uses. So the charge pipe is much more prone to cracking or exploding. And you know, lo and behold, the N55 charge pipe is also plastic. So yeah, if you guys are experiencing limp mode, like I said, there could be a ton of reasons. My car a few months back actually did go into limp mode and it was these little vacuum lines right here that run right over the valve cover. Basically took off the engine cover and just did a really uh, in-depth search and I was basically able to realize that. But BMW Fanatic, he has a really, really awesome video that goes really in-depth about boost leaks, the 30FF code, and basically anything that could be causing limp mode. He goes into pretty much like a good chunk of what the possible causes could be. But for me personally, I just wanted to make this video to make it clear that a good chunk of the time, it has to do with all this basically. And uh, from the experiences that I've dealt with from you guys asking me on Instagram and Facebook and stuff, it seemed to be a lot of your guys' problems as well. So anyway, you guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. One thing I was gonna ask you guys is, what do you guys wanna see from the Simply Car Things channel? Do you guys wanna see more 335i content? Do you wanna see me like start reviewing other cars or other BMWs? Do you wanna see races? Do you wanna see more commentaries and stuff? Like, what is it you wanna see? Comment down below, let me know, because your feedback really means a lot to me, you guys. And I wanna make sure that, you know, I'm putting out videos that are of value to all my subscribers and to people that are just watching in general. So just let me know down below. As always, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video specifically. Be sure to check out any of my other videos. Be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe as well. And with all that being said, you guys are awesome. I will catch you all in the next one. Later, guys.